I'd like to talk about another major site drops Yushpa requirements, as I did yesterday. Uh, Point of the Mountain, we saw this slide yesterday. We saw that it's a beautiful site, very similar to Torrey Pines. It's got a cliff and a ridge, uh, some of which is barren, some of which has housing developments on it. Um, they fly both hang gliders and paragliders there, and it has no requirement for Yushpa membership for people to fly at that site. In fact, this is a statement from their parks uh, department in Utah State Parks. The rules at the park are as follows. We do not require flyers to be members of any local club or the local club or Yushpa to fly at the park. Uh, we encourage it and we think it's a good idea, but it's not required to be a member. So why is it that the state of Utah and the county of Los Angeles don't require Yushpa membership, but the city of San Diego requires citizens to be a member of Yushpa to use our own park? This is my expulsion letter from March 20th, 2015. Shannon Hamby had an accident. She was collided into by another paraglider pilot, both under instruction by this concessionaire. That's her falling right there. And she was badly injured. I was an expert witness. I spoke as an expert witness. And yet I was expelled from Yushpa for my representation. This is their quote. Representation that landing at the Torrey Pines glider port is technically difficult when in truth there is relatively, it's a relatively easy task. Well, it's not a relatively easy task, or she wouldn't have gotten injured. That's why it's an advanced hang gliding site, H4. You know what that means, Ms. Zapp. It's also an intermediate plus paragliding site, P3 plus. So it might be relatively easy when there's no traffic, but there was traffic that day. And that's why it's a P3 site. Or item F that I was expelled for, representation that a student pilot only fly while under the direct visual supervision of the student's instructor and while maintaining radio contact between instructor and student. That was my statement, and that's a true statement. Yushba's SOP actually states that the, the standard operating procedures, the recommended limitations for student pilots is direct supervision. Yet I was expelled for saying that. Thank you. Zian Rim is our next speaker. Mr. Rim will be followed by Martha Welch, 